so the GTA approaches have greatly changed over time with the feminist development policy coming into play and not 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 only having implemented a project fully but the learning from other countries would also come as a value added and also sharing the experiences from the successfully uh, completed project was also what I was looking forward to doing the conference one thing that particularly stood out there is um, a learning from the green innovation projects in Zambia where they have a, a game that they used to learn and teach about different social uh, social issues that come in as you implement the gender transformative approaches in the community and definitely it was a learning for me they have done it with the with the adults that is the men and the women in the community and for me I also saw it as a good entry point for the school children as we are trying to change their mindset towards uh, what gender means and what uh, impact it has on their lives one thing that i really wanted to share was the success of having looked at intersectionalities when implementing gender transformative approaches because most of us forget and we target the women who are strong, the strong characters that come in the community. And mostly these women are usually almost at the same standing with the men. So what about the women living with disability, the women who are not from the particular communities, the, the divorcees, the, the, the widows? So I was able to share and also now bring into the front view of my colleagues in the GTA working group that this goes unnoticed most of the time and for them they felt it was a pause and reflect moment that they need to put that into consideration as they're implementing the transformative approaches. If I had a magic wand today, I would reprogram the development workers so that they can only think not only about intersectionalities when it comes to gender issues, but when it also comes to the communities that we are living, we are working with because there are those people who cannot get to the places where we are working because they are living with disabilities. There are those very poor in the communities whose voices are never represented or heard. And there are those who cannot even afford basic uh, amenities, basic uh, commodities, such as even a sanitary towel for a woman. So she will never be able to attend a meeting. She does not have alternative child care organized for her so she cannot go for the meeting and leave her children behind. Their husbands are also engaged and engrossed in the day-to-day -day activity trying to bring money to put bread on the table. So for me it's the thinking that we are not just thinking about the community as homogeneous but we are thinking as a community having different kind of people who need to move together with no one being left behind.